All right, Aldo, so what are you trying to accomplish today? Turn back to club. So, I've created two separate sides for you because I want to get you to look at a couple things. The first side I created for you, I created a little bit of a higher recession. The other side I created a little bit of lower of a recession. So that way it kind of squares us off a little bit more and gives us more of a little bit of a youthful look. Well, did we get our permanent hair? from the back of the head. The hair in the back of the head here is genetically pre-programmed not to be sensitive to the same conversion uh, uh, that the hair on the top is sensitive to, which is what causes the loss. So we're taking this permanent hair and then we're putting it in the areas where he has the hair that's on its way out, so that way it'll blend in and look nice and natural. So Aldo just came out of his preoperative consult. Aldo, how are you feeling right now? Pretty good. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Boss. You're ready to go? Yeah, ready. All right, well, let's get this party started. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we just got through harvesting Aldo's donor, and what you're looking at are the two separate strips that came out. Um, this is a 12-inch ruler, mm -hmm. um, but we base everything on centimeters. The first strip came out to about 34 uh, centimeters. The second strip came out to about 32 centimeters. So between the two of them, we have 33 square centimeters of hair. And how much hair can we get for that? <clears throat> well, the average hair uh, density is 200 hairs per one square centimeter of hair. Wow. Aldo happened to have a little bit of a higher density than average, mm -hmm. so he probably would average about 220 to 225 hairs per square centimeter. Which is a good thing. That's excellent. Uh, but just for the sake of this conversation, we're going to use easy math. And we're going to say he only got 200 hairs just for the sake of this conversation. Okay. So let's say he has 200 hairs per square centimeter. We have 33 square centimeters of hair, which would yield us well over 6,500 hairs. Um, mm -hmm. So because he has a higher density, he'll probably get closer to about 7,000 hairs just from this, these two strips. Now what's important to notice <clears throat> is when we harvest the donor, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that the follicles are intact. What you're seeing here, the yellow is the subcutaneous fat. Okay. Okay, the little black dots are the bulbs of the follicles. The little hair coming out of there is the follicle itself. So the bulbs will grow the hair. When I harvest, the most important thing is to not transect those follicles. The more Why we, is that? Well, what happens if hairs get transected, then they get destroyed, then they won't grow. Uh -huh. So if we keep the hairs intact, we're able to get a higher yield and we're able to get more hair for the patient. So we want to preserve the follicle as much as we can. So if you look at this strip, you'll notice that there's virtually no transaction. You don't see any cut hairs. The reason you don't see any cut hairs is one, I experience and do a lot of surgery, right. but two, I take my time and that's what's most important. A lot of doctors rush through this. They don't take the time to harvest the donor properly and that's where they destroy a lot of the follicles. Wow, okay. Okay, so you can just take a close look at this. You can see how everything's nice and intact. Okay. All the way. So when the team dissects this up, what we're going to do is we're going to dissect it up into these tiny little bundles, okay? Those bundles are follicular units, okay? Wow. So we'll cut them up into one hair at a time, and we'll cut these little bundles out. And then what we're going to do in addition to that is we're going to use um, the Bolton density graft, which right. you're going to see momentarily. And, once and how many are in that? Um, it'll have two to three of those little bundles in okay. one graft. Okay. Okay. And so anyway, so that's what we're working with. The team's going to be dissecting this under magnification to make sure they don't do any transaction as well. So we preserve the follicles. So you're looking good, you're drinking Coke. How are you feeling right now? Yeah? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so Aldo, you've had an eventful day. You had the surgery. Tell us how you're feeling right now. I feel pretty good. Uh, surgery went fine. No pain. Um, all the staff are great, very knowledgeable. 
um, exactly what the doctor told me you know, to expect and um, everything I'm very happy about the result about everything and I can wait to see my hair growing back and uh, to see the, the, the result. So Aldo, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, what would you rate your experience today? I, I feel 10, honestly. Um, I feel like a million bucks. I feel great. I, I feel no, like I said, again, I insist on the fact that I feel no pain, no discomfort. I'm completely uh, myself and uh, uh, that was a great experience so far, yeah. Aldo, you did a fabulous job. As I said, you were relaxed. You're a great patient. And thank you so much for letting, letting us experience the surgery with you. We appreciate it. All right, thank you very much.